Good morning, everybody. It's the day of surgery, and we are getting everything ready. It's 8.30 at the moment, and we plan on leaving to go to the hospital around 10.30. So we have to be there at noon. And so um, we're just finishing up getting our um, bags packed, and the dogs are a little nervous. You can tell that they, I can tell that they know something's up. Nice guy. <clears throat> Ryder's the one who's a little more nervous than um, out of both of them. Poor little guy hasn't even eaten his breakfast yet. He just keeps wandering around and all that. I feel bad for them. At least they're going over to my grandparents so they don't have to worry about being kept in their kennels all day long or, you know, not having anybody, any interaction or anybody to play with, so. Harrison is still asleep. I'm going to let him sleep for as long as possible because then it's easier for us to keep him asleep so that he doesn't get hungry. His cutoff was at 6 and I got up about 5.15 to feed him and he only took two ounces. He did wake up at midnight and he drank an entire bottle. So with him only taking two ounces at about 5.30 this morning, it's going to be a pretty rough um, morning until we actually have to hand him over for surgery so it's going to be interesting to say the least and hopefully we can keep him appeased and unfortunately he's one of those babies that when he gets hungry first he starts to growl then he starts to cry and then he screams sometimes not in that order so we'll see how it goes Anyways, we're going to finish getting ready, and once Harrison wakes up, I'm going to show off our t-shirts because Curtis and I are wearing matching t-shirts and Harrison's going to wear a similar t-shirt. So I think we'll actually look like a cute little, cute little family, but. Okay, Harrison is now awake. So this is the shirt he is wearing today. Yeah. <sighs> hi, booger boy. Yeah. Uh, You're hi. wearing your cranial warrior shirt, huh? I am wearing, don't mess with me, I'm a cranial mom. And then Curtis is wearing his but says dad. So we match and then my mom and my dad and then Curtis's parents all have matching shirts that say um, don't mess with me, I'm a cranial grandma or a cranial grandpa. So I think we're going to be a nice little matching family today and we're going to need it. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to take the dogs over to my grandma's right now, and um, they are super excited because they have their collars on. Hey. Uh, hey, guys. Come here. Not yet. Come here. No, not yet. And they want to go on a car ride super, super bad. Because anytime you put their collars and their leashes on, oh my gosh, it's car ride or a walk. And it's the best thing ever. Even though they have a completely nice big backyard to run around in, the leash and the collar is the best thing ever because it means we're going out. <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna go do that and we'll be back. And then more than likely by the time we get back, it'll be time to head down to the hospital. So it's five to 11 and we are heading down to the hospital. Harrison is asleep in the back and He's already hungry. You can already tell he's starting to fuss and make his hunger noises. So it's going to be a bit of a hassle to, you know, keep them occupied while we're waiting up until they take him to surgery. But hopefully we don't have to wait too long. But, um, yeah, don't have much else to say other than we're heading down and sitting here in the car just trying to keep my mind off of things. But did I say Harrison's asleep in the back seat? Because he's cute, he's asleep in the back seat.
back in pre-op. And he just wants something. Something. Yeah. Huh. Harrison, mommy left her camera inside the room, but we're just here in the playroom while Mister is eating everything. Huh? Just eating everything. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I would show my mom, but she's a brat. I got her. <laughs> but um, we're sitting here in the surgery waiting area. It's been a couple hours since they took Harrison back. Probably they took him. They took him five hours ago. And so we just got to talk with the neurosurgeon, what, about a half hour ago? Probably about yeah. an hour ago. Really? An hour, half hour ago. And he said that things are going well and that there's about two and a half hours left to go. About an hour and a half now. Yeah. She said eight thirty. About an hour and a half now. So, so yeah, just sitting here playing cards and eating junk food. Not really much else. So, we're the only ones here right now. No, we're not. Okay, no, there's no. one other person there, but seriously, it's like Curtis's head. It's like empty in here. I know. I don't care. I'm going to edit it anyway, so. So, yeah. Not much going on. Oh, I want to show everybody the uh, shirts that we made. I'm not going to get your face, though. So, I'm just going to get the shirt. So, the here's the. So, there's my mom's shirt. Curtis's mom's shirt. Curtis's and my shirt. I don't know why I did that. So, so yeah, those are all of our shirts. And yeah, you're just giving me my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, anyways, keep you updated and let you know what happens when we actually hear from the other surgeons. So, back to my plan. Gonna go back to playing cards again. Okay, so Harrison just got done with surgery. Um, we should be able to see him in 45 minutes. He's being moved to the ICU. And um, we're heading over to the waiting room right now to wait until they come and grab us. But doctor said he did good. Um, he, you know, didn't have any problems. He was able to um, reconstruct his head very well, and so he was able to do everything, get his head good, and no problems with vitals or anything like that. So he's. He's doing good, so we're heading oh, yeah, over there. Yeah. I have to show you something cute. All right, well, um, we weren't able to get into the Ronald McDonald house, so we just decided to get a hotel. And uh, we saw Harrison in the ICU. He was uncomfortable. Well, he was coming out of anesthesia and was a little uncomfortable but um, they gave him some morphine to keep him comfy. And so we're going to get a little bit of sleep and then um, go see him bright and early in the morning. So um, I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Have a great night.